Chapter 4 Sasha pulled the top of her sleeping bag towards her chin, looking up at the snow-white ceiling. Guess I'd better get used to the sight of this room. The ceiling, this floor, these walls. We'll be seeing them every day from now on. Not to mention this house, this block, this city, this... everything. The room was so quiet. Empty except for her and Millie. The window and skylight let the moonlight in, surrounding Sasha with bright squares. Even though it wasn't shining in her eyes, she still found it distracting. Millie was across the room from her, curled up in her bag, away from the light. Good to see she's sound asleep. I seriously hope Mom and Dad put up some curtains in here. She desperately wanted to fall asleep after the long day she had. Dad drove them around, pointing out various places. He showed them the school she and Jeff would be going to, as well as Millie's school, which was right across the street. New school, new teachers, new friends, Sasha remembered thinking. They saw the park where, according to Mom, Sasha and her siblings could get some sunlight and fresh air. Don't we have a backyard for that? They saw the mall which admittedly looked nice, but wasn't as cool as the one they had in Chicago. It's a gas station compared to the old one. Once they were done sightseeing, they went out to dinner at a Southwest-style restaurant, the kind with desert and cowboy-related stuff on the walls. After everyone ordered, Dad raised his glass and proposed a toast. To a new home and a fresh beginning beginning, maybe to him, Sasha thought, clenching her eyes shut. To me, it's an end. All the goodbyes they had to say, to their friends, to their teachers, to their old apartment. She gritted her teeth. It's not fair. Just then, she heard a click coming from the door. Before she even opened her eyes, she knew who it was. Jeff stood in the wide-open doorway, dressed in his crisscross patterned pajamas, pillow under one arm, sleeping bag under the other. A pillar of yellow light from the hall leaked into the room, mixing with the window shapes. Well, well, look who decided to show up, Sasha said softly. Close the door, will ya? His hands full, Jeff nudged at the door with his hip. It closed with a loud slam which made Sasha flinch. Easy, she hissed. Sorry. Sasha heard Millie stir in her bag. Her little sister sat up sleepily, rubbing her eyes and groaning. Uh-huh. Then she gasped. Jeff, you're here after all. What'd I tell you, Mel? Sasha said. He got scared, so he came over here just so he could keep us up. Oh, shut it. Jeff laid his sleeping bag down in the middle of the room. I figured, since this is our first night here and all, I'd keep you company just this once. Yeah, right. You're the only one of us who sleeps alone. Or maybe it's because you're still jealous that we have the better room. Tell you what, since I'm feeling generous, I'll let you join us just this once. Sasha knew she wasn't being very mature, but her brother was an easy target sometimes. Don't worry, said Jeff. I'll make sure not to overstay my welcome. Well, I'm happy you're here, Jeff, Millie said. It's like our own little slumber party, like back when we were little. Remember, we used to take naps together? Jeff slithered into his bag. Yeah. And sometimes we'd make a fort out of couch cushions and gather all the flashlights and tell stories and... Look, I just want to sleep, okay? I'm not interested in any of that slumber party stuff. Oh, replied Millie sadly. Well, that's okay, I guess. Sorry to bother you. Jeff! Sasha growled. You hurt her feelings. Say you're sorry. Jeff rolled onto his stomach. Look, Mel, I didn't mean to upset you. I like spending time with you. It's just been a long day, and I'm very tired. Though it was dark, Sasha thought he gave her a, There, is that good enough for you? Look. It's okay replied Millie, suddenly back to her cheery self. I understand. 
Hey, Millie, you know what we should do? Sasha said, smirking. Since this is a slumber party and all, we should give Jeff a makeover. Millie giggled. That does sound like fun. Jeff swung at Sasha with his pillow, too far away to reach. Don't even think about it. Sasha smiled as she adjusted her pillow. He's right about one thing. It has been a long day. Silence followed for a few seconds. At first, she worried their commotion might have woken up Mom or Dad. She listened for any movement coming from the other room, but there was nothing. Not that they had superhuman hearing or anything, but they weren't exactly a bunch of hibernating bears, either. Living in that apartment for all those years taught Sasha that. Still feels weird, Jeff said suddenly. That we moved, I mean. Yeah, said Sasha. I'm a Chicago, said Millie. Sasha nodded. Me too. She thought about their old apartment, memories still fresh in her mind. She remembered the kitchen window that looked down onto the busy street three stories below them. She remembered how she, Jeff, and Millie would run up and down the stairs from floor to floor, trying to see how much noise they could make before one of the other tenants came out and told them to knock it off. She remembered the arcade that was only a few blocks away, where they would hang out on especially boring days to play some games, maybe grab a slice of pizza. It was a special time for all of us. Will this new town even come close? I'd give anything to spend just one more night in our old place, Jeff said. Just one more. Then maybe I'll be fine. Millie hugged her knees. I'll have to go to another school and make new friends. I won't know anyone there. What if the other kids are mean to me? If that happens, you just let me know, replied Jeff. I'll whoop their butts. Sasha chuckled. You do that, Dad just might ground you for a whole year. Jeff smiled. Oh yeah, sure. I can just hear him now. He spoke in his best dad voice. No kicking anyone's butts. We're courtlies. We never get into fights. Sasha wheezed as she tried to keep from bursting into laughter. Really? You mean it? Millie said to Jeff. You'll protect me if someone's bullying me? You betcha. Just leave everything to me, okay? Millie smiled. Wow, thanks. Jeff nodded, and everyone laid back down. Sasha tried to close her eyes, but wasn't quite able to. Is it really stuffy in here, or is it just me? She got up and pried the window open. It creaked a little, putting up a bit of a fight before eventually opening all the way. Sasha breathed in the outside air feeling calmer all of a sudden. Much better. The air here is clean, I'll give it that. There was only a single star, twinkling high in the sky. She suddenly remembered all the songs and fairy tales they heard from Mom and Dad about wishing on a star. That's so silly. A star giving me anything I wanted? Still. Jeff and Millie were now sound asleep in their bags. Around them, the room looked so big and empty. You know what? Why not? She racked her brain, trying to remember the words to the rhyme. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish, I wish tonight. She took a moment to think of what exactly it was she wanted. I wish... Something interesting would happen to us. Something magical, breathtaking, unexpected. Maybe just a little bit scary, too. I wish moving here would turn out to be the best thing in our entire lives. She sighed. Yeah, right. As if a star could fix that. She climbed back into her sleeping bag and shut her eyes. If magic was real, I'd use it to go back to Chicago. Chicago.